Hey guys, I am pumped because we've got another room makeover for you. Yeah! Today we're going to be showing you around our home office transformation because let's face it, we are all spending a lot more time working from home and if you are anything like us, then you probably need to create a far more functional, productive and inspiring space in which to work in your home. This video is presented by Suncorp, here for you when you need it most because that's a Suncorp spirit and right now, where we need it most, uh, yeah. It's in the home office. So hopefully you get some tips from this video. Right now though, let's take it back to the beginning. What's up guys? We've got another room makeover for you. The home office, because this one is a disaster. Chaotic? Gross? Depressing? What other words can we use to describe this situation in here at this moment? Just a bit of a mess. Just a bit of a mess. Home office, obviously spending a lot of time at home and are forced to work from home. So ipso facto, gotta fix the problemo. Declutter is probably gonna be the thing that we focus on in this room. We need to declutter a lot. There is stuff everywhere. Speaking of stuff everywhere, this is Jono's desk. Like, you've got a lot of stuff going on. You've got the most random collection of stuff on your desk. You've got bolts. You've got a flathead screwdriver. What's that, to connect to your trailer? Trailer plug. You've got downlines. You've got fishing tackle. Well, these are just essentials. Then what, for work? Oh, you got, actually they're quite good. They're those alcohol wipes. Yeah, we should start using them more. Well, we might have to ration them to be honest with you. What's this? Swag um, stretcher. So we might need to also have Camp a rule here. about what is allowed in the home office. That's a good one. But what I'm thinking we need to do is create some really clever storage in here because at the moment we just don't have any storage. Jono, you made this, which is pretty cool and handy. I like this. The only thing with that is that it's now too small. Really? Isn't it? This is meant to be camera storage and a charging station, but we ran out of space for actual storage. We so did. we'll make something bigger. I need space for my books to be out, all my design books. I've got them hidden down here. Plus, there's all this junk. I don't even, I can't even, there's just junk. But I need pretty things on display that inspire me, because it's a home office and I like to be inspired. But then I also need hidden storage, I think, for a lot of your cables and stuff and messy things that we have. I need to sort out a bit of a productivity motivation station because I'm a list person. I love lists. I love goals. Johnny doesn't like them as much lists. I'm always like, can we make a plan? Can we do a list? And he's like, Ugh. Ugh. I roll. But I love them. So I want to kind of create something. I've got a little bit of something something over here already, but I feel like I, I need to up the ante a bit. We've got a couple of goals, speaking of goals, but we've maxed them all out. There's some of our YouTube goals. Oh, we hit another goal. We hit 40 subs. Yay. That's so exciting. I wonder by the time we launch this video, what we're actually going to be up to. Speaking of which, can you please like and subscribe to our channel so I can actually go up a couple of brackets. So basically, clean it up, storage, floor paint, windows, because that's a nightmare. We want to be motivated. We want to love it. We want to walk in and be like, let's get shit done. Let's get shit done. Should we get shit done? Let's clear it out. Okay. Time to paint. Pretty excited, actually. I might go get my headphones so I can zone out a bit. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, I thought so. We're going to paint grey, hopefully get two coats down, and then we'll see if that's enough. And hopefully I'll get some trim up too. You know what, these cupboards, the previous owners have obviously painted, and we can't get them off, can we? They're like literally painted on the I could so get them like... off, but it's a bit of a pain, because their screws are really wrapped. Guess what? Just paint over them. Yeah. That's the quick option. Easy fix. I'll make them white, don't you reckon? And then, because then it makes sense because we've got the white storage happening over there. Yep. It's going to be so, so good. I'm excited. 
Okay, Tom the Pine. Okay. Pint break. What? Pint break. Pint break? Ah, oh, you're the best. It's almost done. Nearly. I've just got a tiny bit of cutting in to do, just up there, and then I'm doing one more. I, I'm not doing three. I think two is going to be fine. Looking good. It is looking good. I am going to get the coat down, let it dry for a bit, and then I'm going to come in and do the trims. That's the plan of attack for today. Okay. Get ready for the storage, which is coming tomorrow. And the desks, oh my God, we've got new desks. Fastest makeover ever. Back to it, <sighs> coffee break. set your preset positions. So you press S, that'll flash. And you press 1, that'll lock that into 71. So then you go up again, oh press my. and hold 1, and it takes it down to 1 for you. I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much. You're very welcome. Oh my god. Hope you guys enjoy. Are you going to stand up work? I think I might. Maybe I'm going to trial it. I don't know if I can do a full day. I've never tried it before. We'll see. Put that one all the way up. How tall are you? That's pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's probably me. 105. I'll have to test it with my tablet. This is so boss. Come over here and like experience what a standing desk. It's so different. I love it. Are we ever going to get tired of this? I don't think so. This is the best game in the world. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I'm like trying to crouch down with it. <laughs> For affection. <laughs> See you, Slada. Bye. Yeah, why not? How good is that? So at the moment, I'm doing my favourite thing in the world. Do you know what that is? It's 
styling shelves. Come over here. I've done like a, all of the technology we've ever owned wall. Cause it was all hiding in boxes. How sick is it? What have you got? Show us your favorite. What's your favorite? There's a Game Boy in here, which has already got Tetris loaded. Fire it up. How do I turn it on again? There you go, can you see that? <gasps> Ding. How good's the sound? Hells yeah. We've got a Walkman. How good was the Walkman? So good. Remember when you used to have to make your own mixtapes and you had to wait for the DJ to like you try and time it and you'd be like at the end of the song and you'd hit like, you'd stop recording and then you'd pause. Do you remember that? When you're recording off the radio. Yeah, not on the Walkman. But do you remember that? And mm. how I used to be so dirty if like the DJ used to speak over the track because then yeah. you wouldn't get a clean like transition between tracks. Oh, so nice. Well, this was your Orpheus. This is a sick slide projector, which is like a mini TV. It's epic. It like a sick old school TV. I know. This is the first trophy I ever won in my life. Thanks for coming. Kent Sharma's Tennis Clinic Champion 1993. I'm so proud of that. Like it's just like a dodgy piece of plastic, but I've always kept it and I love it. I've got all of our old cameras. There's like three different cameras in there. Rocky, greatest motivational DVDs of all time. And then check it. Every single phone you see in there we've ever Orange. I don't know about every single phone we've ever owned, but all of the old school cool ones. What's up? What? What is that? I'm pretty sure that was actually the world's smallest phone ever made and my brother bought it because it was hilarious. In here, there's a lot of Sony Ericsson, which I think you went through a Sony Ericsson phase. With like weird sticky things all over it. And like... The old school Sony's had the best cameras at the time. We've got all our old dead iPhones in here and just like, Oh. Full keyboard. Cyber shots and a couple of trophies down there as well. So we had a lot of junk in the process of sorting through stuff, but I found some gold that I cannot chuck out. This is your first laptop. It is an absolute beast. Hello. Look at me typing on my big chunky keyboard. 1996 gold. And it, yeah, I do. It wants its brick back. This was a Toshiba, right? Solid gold. I mean, I'm a bit of a retro head and you're a bit of a tech head, so I like the fact that we've got a bit of an homage to all of the technology in our lives. But that's kind of old, and then this will be your new section. Everything that we currently use will get that going. Charging bay, all of that. And then I've got my a mixture of books, so design books, marketing books, and a couple of house books as well for motivation and inspiration. So now I'm currently, I've got all my swatches. Um, I need to find space for all of my creative things. My job today is going to be sorting through all of our junk, throwing a lot out and then working out what we actually need to keep. And your job is going to be fixing this skirting issue because we don't have any. Um, we'll just put some trim. Got a few trim pieces just to put oh, in. This is a really good storage unit. I kind of like the different hidey holes and it, it makes it good to style with. I'm thinking a bit of green. Oh, I'm picking artwork, one big one or maybe a cluster. And then I need a motivation station and that's gonna go over here. Because before, like we had these, right? I've got a few more of them. And I think, Jono, we switched the orientation this way. Yeah? And we'll run them the whole length of let's the wall. Let's just full wall it. I reckon, let's full wall it. It'll help with sound as well. It'll help with echo in this room. Okay, I'm gonna go cut some timber. Okay, bye. okay, okay, bye. bye. And just like that, it's home office reveal time. Are you ready? Of course you are. Oh yeah I did. It was 
not that great. <laughs> Basically, what we did in here was, to be honest, we had to clean everything out because it was an absolute nightmare and disaster. Once we got everything out, Jonna did a great job on the floors. So sanded those guys up and then I put the whitewash finish over the top to be consistent with the rest of the home. And then on the walls, disc out. So that's the same gray as we did in the laundry. And I really like the gray in here. It's nice and soft. It's not too harsh and stuff, which I think is really nice for the office. So, and then we did Lex Concorde again on the trims to keep everything really consistent. The main thing we did in this room was just reconfigure our orientation somewhat. So before we had our two desks, but they were on either side of the walls. And it kind of didn't work because whenever we'd turn around to talk to each other, we'd sort of smash our chairs together and it just wasn't very good. So now we've actually gone a back to back workstation. So this is now like the central hub of the room and it works so incredibly well. Have you noticed our new sexy desk? Oh my God. So before we just had really good desk solutions, to be honest, we had, you know, beautiful pieces of ply and we were just gonna make our own steel legs to kind of go with them. But didn't have time for that. And also found these on Instagram. I'm like, mm, well, this is sexy as hell and I need it in my life. Now we've got it, which is very exciting. So this is called the Rondo Electric Desk. And this is from Melbourne Cats Baseline Commercial Furniture. I love this. Obviously it's a back to back desk, uh, which works really well. And it's got this so sandwich screen with this beautiful leather wrap detail. That's nice because it creates a bit of a zone. But did you hear me? I said electric desk. Did you hear that? Do you want to be like, what, what? Electric? Look at this. Shut up. You can actually adjust the height so you can make it a standing desk. What? <laughs> I know, I had never worked standing up before. It's actually really hard. Like I've started to try and do it for like an hour every afternoon and sometimes in the morning as well. And it's really kind of hard. It's a really interesting thing to get used to because obviously you're using your core muscles, but good for you, that means it's good for you. And I really like it. So I like to mix it up a little bit. You can actually set your settings so you can have your perfect sitting height and then you can have your perfect standing height, which is really good. So they like go pretty tall. I mean, if you're a tall person, <laughs> I wouldn't be as productive. I don't want to break it. That's like, all right, that's maxed out. So that's 127 centimeters there. So obviously not right for me, but how good is that? But that seriously excites me, like seriously. All right, we'll bring him down to my stando. I'm gonna put him on to 75 is generally the standard height. And that's what I do as well. New chairs as well. These are super cool. So these are called the Scoop Maxi chair. Um, and these are from Baseline as well. This is an Australian design and manufacturer, whereas this is an Italian design, but it's all manufactured in Australia. So this is so sexy. White powder coat and it's got that leather seat pad which is matching to the sandwich screen. It's pimp. You don't have to do this at home if you're into in your own home office but if you do want a pimp and desk just saying this is a pretty good one. And the other thing that was a big change in here was storage. So hello new amazing feature storage wall. So this is actually three separate units. So this is from Multistore. So they're actually a local company but we picked this up from Bunnings. I was able to kind of choose different sort of configurations. So this is two meters high. Um, they have a couple of different heights and different options. But this little skinny guy purely to style things. Like that's literally, I mean, if you were doing this in like a wardrobe and in your bedroom, you'd obviously, you could do like scarves and boots or whatever. But this was like purely like not really stuff that I needed for my work, purely just for an inspiration space. So we've got fun things like cameras, old school like trinkets and stuff because we love kind of our tech. So it's a bit of an homage to sort of all things old and cool and motivational stuff, you know. It's just kind of cool and it's kind of fun. And we've like, I just love the fact that we've got all these things because we used to just have them all and didn't have them on display. And you know what, they're just cool. They're cool, aren't they, Jono? What's your favorite thing, Jono, in this pigeonhole wall? The old school Game Boy. The Game, Game, Boy. Game Boy. I know, right? That is so cool. Oh, man, that's still fire up. 
It's so slow though. <laughs> so that's really cool. And the other thing I like is that I've got my books out here as well, which is nice to have my design books out, you know, because I haven't had a space to actually put them on display. So this is nice to remind me that, oh yeah, I am a designer. That's right. Let's get some inspiration. So I really like having these out as well. And I chose a storage unit that had concealed drawers, which is important because you still have heaps of stuff. So all our pens and stuff are in there. We put them in containers. There's other ones for like all of your papers and stuff like that. So that's really good. This is Jono's zone. This is very exciting. I'm going to talk about this Jono. If I say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, please correct me. But this is Jono's pimping charging station slash tech area slash work zone. So that's all the old stuff. This is the new stuff. This is like what we use all the time. So we had PowerPoints put in, but they're not just your standard PowerPoints. They're actually got USB cables. So this is really streamlined. jono has got, I know, road mic. You've got your phone out here. You've got your drone set up here. What else have you got in here, Jono? You've got your line. So it's good to have this out, easy to access. What have you got up here? You've just got extra stuff, don't you? You've got your cable storage, some go GoPros, some more mounts. Cool, so these are the same in a box storage containers that we used in the pantry, just a different color. So these have actually come in handy here. These guys are from Bunnings, but so you've just got like, is this all your camera straps? So this is all- it's all camera gear. The all whole camera, camera gear. gear. Um, all your camera straps, then you've got like your RAM mounts and stuff. So that's sort of really cool. Then you got your big ass bags, cause I used to always trip on them every time I came into the office. So backpacks are now down here. So you got your camera bag. That's a good one. It's the big low pro, low camera pro. bag. And then the other one's a little drone bag. Little droney guy. Printer here, that used to live on your desk before. So we put a space for the printer to go and then we've just got our paper. So it's just a good workable space. Oh, and I mean, I like that. Well done, Johnny. That was Johnny special. That's just really good. It does get dark in that corner, so it's really good to actually have that additional light. You always lose your batteries or your filters or something if you can't see them. So always. That's just a plug-in LED light from Bano. Bano, they do alright, don't they? They do. Yeah. Also, this. Did you see this? I changed up the artwork. Um, the other one we had was a campaign image from Hunting for George, but this guy. If you've been following Hunting. For George, you'd probably recognize this, or you probably just, if anyone's on Instagram, you would have seen this image before, but this was one of the first images that we created for Hunting for George from our loft collection, which I think is actually a nice sort of reminder of all the cool things that we've created. So I like that. And also the elements in here with the leather and the darkness pick up on the leather here. So it kind of, that's why I chose that to bring in here. Now I'm over this side, but I'm going to switch over because I want to talk about what's happening here. Oh, I gave this in cheap. He coated paint as well because there was nothing wrong with it. So I just painted Lexicon Quarter, which it looks really good. So now that I've got a motorized desk, do you know what else is motorized in this space? My blinds. This is very exciting. Oh, did you steal my remote control? Where's my remote control? You didn't put it back where it got blown. Oh, here we are. Here's my remote control. Seriously. I love that. Like that has seriously changed everything for me. Uh -huh. I've got a little bit sort of more lazy and I'll be like, oh, now I don't want to like have to move any of my other window furnishings and all my other room. That is pretty cool. That is from DIY Blinds. We just wanted a blind in here. So we just wanted to be able to block out. But they were like, oh, well, do you know we have motorized blinds? I'm like, uh, no, give it to me. And then over here, we had a little bit of this going on, but I've decided to change it around a little bit. So we had some of these foam panels, but instead of just a couple, what we've done is just gone a little full length, which kind of just creates a cooler feature. And I think this is a really cool thing that anyone can do in their space, in their, in their office, because it's so kind of cheap and like it looks really cool. So these are just like your standard foam ball. I don't know, what do you call it? And we've just put, what, one, two, three, we've got four of them up there. For one, it's good for soundproofing. And two, it just kind of 
looks cool and it also goes really nicely with the disc out. I've done a bit of a mood board over here. This is as soon as I walk into the room so I can be like, yeah, motivate me, go. So this is my cool like motivation area. In fact, it says insert motivational quote here. So the goal with this one is for us to leave little messages to kind of motivate ourselves and to change it around. So we've written a couple of things here. Nobody panic, it's just a, you know, reminding us to um, this is a clipboard that I've just pinned up here because I'm always forever writing on scrap pieces of paper and like loose note things and not in my notepad. Now I've got this here because if I write something down, I'm like, oh, probably should remember that. It goes here. This is actually a good thing for me. This is for my important notes. This is a list of all the things I need to do to get stuff out, which by the way, I think I can probably tick that off and take some to do. But anyway, so, so I put my goals up here. I think I'm a, I'm a goal orientated person and I love seeing them in front of me so I can be reminded and they're a really good motivator. So when we started this, home office journey. We had 40,000 subs. Now we've got, what have we got now? 47, I think we might be at 47. So I can't, I, can, I wish I could. Just like, give me a couple more so I can tick it off because I've got to tick off 50. But yeah, very excited. I can't wait to do the next one. And we've also created a bit of a checklist of things that we want to do and achieve throughout the year. And then this is my cool little mood board area. And it's just kind of a nice homage to the old hunting for George. A bit of history about where we've come from. We started in 2010, so we've been going for a long time and this kind of showcases a few things that we did. Anyone that is a hunting for George diehard will recognize this, you know exactly what this is. Mm. This was the first product I ever created for hunting for George back when we were a retail store. I just scribbled this at my desk with ink, uh, scanned it and printed and sold heaps of them. <laughs> but this is the rigid edge original. Oh, the places you'll go. Kind of ironic because we can't go anywhere at <laughs> this particular point in time. As well as some of the old print journals which we used to do. For my desk, cleared everything off. My hot tip for desks is to just clear any distraction away from it. The only thing I have on my desk is this Chinese money plant because I figure if I'm here hustling, then my plants may as well hustle as well, okay? They're gonna bring in the cash. What I would say is that I love this home office makeover. It has literally changed the way that we work. It's a far more productive space. You don't have to go to this degree in your home, but if you are thinking about doing up your home office, I would suggest to declutter, make sure you clear it out. Make sure you get some really good storage so you can hide a few things away. Clear your desk, make Make sure you don't have any distractions. Put up some goals. I love putting up goals. Make sure they're out. So make sure you're motivated. Bring in pops of greenery and things that make you happy and make you smile because at the end of the day, you can still be happy when you're at work. That's our home office and yeah, I love it. Johnny loves it. We hope you love it. guys i hope you enjoyed this home office transformation i'd love to know what you think in the comments below and please let me know what you guys are actually doing in your own space to make it a bit more functional and inspiring place for you to work and next week i'm going to be taking you on a bit of a cheeky daily routine video to show you how i like to be productive whilst working from home but until then like and subscribe we've got plenty more coming your way Do you like working at home with me? No, I'm over it. <laughs>